Hi guys, welcome to my latest video. Um, sorry about the uh, carrots and stuff, but I was literally just getting ready to feed the reindeer. Don't forget to um, like, subscribe, um, check out the link in the uh, description above to um, a picture of some grips. And finally, before we start, um, two plus two is four, subtract one, is three quick snack. Mm. Today we are going to make a Christmas ornament that you can put on top of your Christmas tree and the maths involved in that is going to be using concentric circles. So you're going to need um, a set of compasses, um, a couple of sharp pencils. Um, I buy my pencils down at um, Ikea and that's a good place for you to buy your pencils. So that's what you're going to need. You're also going to need um, a ruler um, once again, I I buy my rulers down at um, IKEA, and as you can see, um, the other day I bought um, I bought quite a lot of them, so they'll probably come in useful in the future. First thing we're going to do to get this Christmas tree decoration going is we are going to take our set of compasses, and we're going to set them to um, let's see, ten centimeters. So I've set my compasses to ten centimeters, and I'm going to draw a circle on a piece of A4 paper. Um, the radius of which is 10 centimeters and that of course as you know will make the diameter 20 centimeters. Once I've done that um, I'm going to take my other pencil and I'm just going to put a little cross where the point of my compasses was so that I always get it in the center. I'm going to take my ruler again now and I'm going to set my compasses this time um, not for 10 centimeters but for 3 centimeters. Once I've done that I'm going to do, um, using the same centre point, I'm going to do a circle which is radius 3 centimetres, which of course means diameter 6 centimetres. And I'm going to keep going. I've got two more circles to draw. So the next one, I'm going to set the compasses for 2.5 centimetres. So that will give me a 2.5 centimetre radius or a 5 centimetre diameter. Okay, so I'm building up these concentric circles. One more to go, and that last circle needs to be at a radius of two centimeters, which will give us a diameter of four centimeters. So this is the last circle we have to draw. Okay, and as you can see, we've got some nice concentric circles. What you need to do now is you need to carefully cut out the large circle, and then I'll show you what to do. So cut that out carefully. So take your time with this guys, try and make it as neat as possible. Okay, so you've cut that out nice and neatly. What I need you to do now is fold it in half and make a light crease down the center. And when you open it up, that should give you a line that goes right through the center of your circle. What I want you to do then is to take a straight edge and a pencil and just draw a line along that folded line from the edge until you meet the first circle and stop there. Okay, then we have to do something tricky. Um, from the center, on the other side of the circle, draw a line again, it doesn't have to go all the way, and then using a ruler, come down that line that you've just drawn until you get to the outer circle and measure out one and a half centimeters in each direction and just put a little tick. So one and a half centimeters in that direction one and a half centimeters in that direction. Then, from the center to those two ticks that you just made, draw a line. And again, from the center to the other tick, draw a line. So you're left with this shape. Now this is the most complicated bit. We're gonna cut this out to make our Christmas tree decoration. I'm, I'm gonna use a pen so that it's clear to you where we're gonna do our cutting. We are going to cut along this line, nice and carefully. And then on the outer circle, we are going to cut all the way around the outer circle, but we're going to stop at that point and we're going to do that on both sides of the outer circle. Then the really tricky bit. Our inner circle and our next concentric circle out from that, we are going to cut out all of the paper in between those two circles. I'll speed things up in a minute and show you exactly which bit it is we're going to cut out.
So there we go, guys. These are the bits that we're going to cut out. We're going to cut along this line and round the circle until this point and round the circle until this point. And then we're going to cut out all of that blue shaded area. And I'll show you how to fold it when we get there so that you can do that. But first of all, now remember, you won't have these blue lines. These are just so that I can show you exactly where we're cutting. Don't forget to stop where it meets that line and carry on around the other half of that circle. And once again, stop when you get to that line. Okay, now for the tricky bit. What I found is if you take the time to fold the whole shape back that way, okay, it then makes a nice area where you can get in and cut this piece out. So, so like I said, if you fold it this way, you should then be able to get your scissors in and very carefully cut around this bit, remember? And again, stop when you get to that line that you drew. Pull that bit through. If you just bend it over, you can then get your scissors underneath and you can cut it. Perfect. Now, when you open things up, you've got a kind of crazy shape like this. Don't forget guys, if you want to buy finished versions of the Maths Help Angel, um, head over to my uh, merch site, where you can also pick up your um, official Math Help sticker packs and uh, new for Christmas, the official Math Help um, soft jelly fruit sweets, which really are delicious. So head on over to my uh, merch site. Okay. Yeah. The last thing you need to do is to fold it over. So you've got a kind of clean side here. And one interesting thing you can do if you've been over to my website and bought some merch is at this point, you could use one of my um, logo stickers to just stick it on here. And then in order to see what we've made, the last thing you have to do is you have to take this half of the circle and fold it down like that. Take the other half of the circle and do exactly the same with that. And then if you pick it up and if you fold it back on itself and tuck it in like that, you can see that you've made this very attractive uh, Maths Help Angel. All you need to do is um, a bit of sticky tape or perhaps a staple through there and you have created this lovely little angel that you could pop on the top of your Christmas tree. So pause your video now and have a go at making one. Uh, remember you can rewind the video later and watch it again, but um, pause it now and then have a go. No, no, Rudolph, I, I don't have to say anything. They've got it on pause. What? <laughs> you reckon? I'm not telling them that. They saw. They saw how many of these things I had to have a go at before I got it right. Do you think they'd watch my channel? No, I, I won't be showing them that. Okay, guys, you've probably finished cutting yours out now. Let's see if it looks like mine. Now, one other thing you can do. When you get to this point, if you take the time to um, add some detail, um, for instance, here I'm adding a pretend feather effect. So you just add some pretend feathers in. And then if you take your scissors and carefully trim out those pieces. So you can see that by carefully trimming out those pieces, when I fold those forward, and then fold it back on itself, you can see that we start to get a little bit of detail, a little bit of feathering on the angel's wings. And you can literally just keep doing that. Um, I've got one here that I've spent a lot of time adding detail to. Um, you can see on this one, I've um, stuck some rather attractive stuff on here. Um, I've just kept going until it's really nice. And, and I've even added some batteries there and a little light inside, but, but it's up to you. You can either, um, Create one like this or, or keep adding detail until you've got this one. But um, either way, 
I hope you have fun. I better get back to feeding the reindeer. Thank you. Rudolph! Come on, Rudolph. Yay! Yay, nice bit of carrot, Rudolph. Do you like that? <laughs>